begging you to stay mm -hmm. Said maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do people's mama and I am here to give you a life update and also I guess a synopsis of my experience um, getting a tummy tuck at 46 years old I am in the car recording this because I just dropped off a teenager so if I look a little frustrated and irritated it's because I have a teenager but anyway she started high school little diva has started high school and it's been a ride but anyway, I wanted to come on here and I didn't want to make this video long because if I make it long, I'm not going to get it out. And the whole point is to get this video out to y'all. So I wanted to give you a life update. Um, most of y'all know because y'all follow me on Instagram. But if you do not know, um, I am cancer free. The last time that I was on here, I was getting ready to have my surgery. I ended up having to postpone that because I copped the bid and I had surgery in January. Um, they removed the cancer from my colon and then I turned right back around and y'all might have to turn the car back on because I didn't want to go in the house. Like I said, I'm trying to get this video done. Anyway, I ain't going to even explain all that, <laughs> but um yeah so i had surgery to remove the cancer from my colon that was successful and then um i had another surgery they let me heal for like six weeks and then i had another surgery in march to remove the cancer from my lung and i was declared cancer free in april of 2023 and um after i was declared cancer free i ended up getting a job breaking up with um my ex and basically just going through a healing journey and reclaiming my time baby minding my business and reclaiming my time so um i'm just gonna say when i broke up with my ex i was heartbroken because i thought that he was the man i was gonna be with but baby god knows better so we ended up breaking up and basically i just took time to learn myself um our breakup was kind of traumatic if you know you know most of y'all don't and you won't but <laughs> if, if you know you know and it was a point in my life where i said you know what i don't ever want to go through this again if i can if i can help it and i absolutely believe you can help things in life in life i had already been studying like the law of assumption i'm not a law of attraction girly i'm a law of assumption girly um, I have been studying the law of assumption prior to um, the breakup. I had actually been studying when I got sick with cancer. And I believe it's one of the things that helped me heal. All the glory goes to God. 
But I think God puts certain things in your pathway to help you. And I believe he put the law of assumption in my pathway. Um, the books that I read, the information that I got, and all of those things helped me to believe that my healing was possible. And I think that that played a big part in me being able to heal from cancer because it's a mental journey. It's it's just as much a mental battle as it is a physical battle. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. But praise God, I have been cancer free for over a year now. And um, in that year, um, like I said, I, I broke up with the man I thought I was going to be with. I got in a relationship with me, <laughs> which was is, I'm still in a relationship with me, and that is the best relationship ever. Um, I started loving on myself, taking care of myself. I was always kind of a person that could go out by myself and, and do my own thing. But I started like really doing that intentionally, like taking time for myself and learning things that I loved doing, discovering classes, discovering just things that brought me joy, um, enjoying my family and just really just loving on me and also managing my emotions because, you know, that was an issue for me. And it was at that turning point when we had our breakup that I knew, like, I don't ever want someone to hold that power over me. And so I did those things. I ended up getting a job, a work from home job for, if you don't know, I used to work in the retirement services industry, like dealing with 401ks and things like that. So I got a job doing that for like small business 401ks. I hated the job. <laughs> the people were cool. The company was great. It was a great company. And if I would have enjoyed that job, I think I would have stayed there. But it was like so stressful they had so many steps to get things done so many in the job that i worked it was so detailed detail oriented and customer service focused but you weren't getting paid that amount for all those things that you had to do and i just knew like this this ain't it and i really hated that i rushed back into getting back to work and if i'm if i'm gonna be honest if i'm if i'm a being honest I went back to work because I thought that that was going to lead to me and my ex being together. And I never really said that to anyone, but that's what I thought. I thought, you know, I get a job. He won't think that I am a burden, all of those type of things. And let me tell you something. The man that wants you is never going to think that you are a burden. But anyway, we ain't even going to get into that. Let me turn this car on because it don't happen. So, sorry, get text messages. I'm shooting this on my phone um, because I didn't want to drag my camera. And again, I'm trying to get this video done. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got that job. I started working. Um, I, I basically just was living my life. Uh, I really wasn't open to dating like men gave me the ick but as I you know started thinking about what I wanted for my life I did know that I wanted to be remarried and I did not know how that was going to happen and I just I just basically told God you know what you do your thing I'm just going to really focus on just getting to know people and meeting people and if something happens it does if it doesn't I'm okay with that too I was really okay. I had kind of decided in my mind that I really wasn't worried about getting married again until my youngest child got out of high school. Um, so it just wasn't the forefront, but I, it was something that I, I wanted. And I always made it known to whoever I dated, yeah, I want to get remarried again. And, you know, if that happens, I'm, I'm good with that. So anyway, I ended up going on Tinder and I met a wonderful man and he he basically swept me off my feet like he came in and he came in with a force and he was like you gonna be mine and I was his <laughs> um and we're engaged we're engaged to be married we'll be married rather soon um, I think some people think that we already got married because I, I'm wearing this other ring. I just put this on. Yeah, this ain't even my, 
my wedding band. <laughs> I, I just put this on one day and I just started wearing it. And that's me. That's kind of how I am. But this is not my wedding band. I am not married yet. Um, now, a lot of people are asking me, like, what is our wedding date? I'm not really going to share that online. I think I think that that's something I want to keep between me and him and our loved ones. But, I mean, you'll know when I get married. I'm pretty sure I'll share some pictures or maybe a video here and there. But will I be sharing all the details? And, I, and that's not anything against anyone. It's just something that, you know, we want to keep private and personal to ourselves. Um, if you see me on Instagram, you've seen him. I've shown him. Baby, he wasn't going to let me not show him, okay? <laughs> He was like, I'm the man in your life. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so we got engaged. Uh, he took me to uh, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, for my birthday, and he proposed on the beach. Uh, we had a romantic dinner on the beach. It was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. Um, I don't know if y'all can see my ring, but, yeah. And um, he's just... He is a very masculine man, and that has taken some getting used to. Like, you really don't know that you know masculine men until you actually really get to know a masculine man, and then you're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so, that's taken some getting used to. I'm still getting used to things. I'm still getting used to not being a single mother. I'm still getting used to not being single anymore um we had a discussion the other day because he's just like hey you gotta stop making decisions as if you were a single mother or you were single because you're not anymore i'm here i want to know what's going on i want to be consulted those type of things and that's that's a transition that i'm going through and maybe that's what i'll show y'all as i vlog and and go through this YouTube journey because I definitely have been wanting to get back on into YouTube but anyway um he proposed uh my daughter got pregnant I am now a grandmother I'm grandmother of a beautiful baby boy he is four months old Island that is my heart and I'm sure y'all will be seeing him on the vlog I have a lot of clips that I have been keeping up with um I just haven't had the time to like really just sit down and edit them when I started editing them, my computer ended up breaking and now I've gotten another one so I'm gonna get on it and I will probably share those clips throughout other vlogs but I really again wanted to get a video out for y'all so that is why I'm trying to do this right now but anyway I ended up um, quitting my job my fiance uh, when I moved in I moved in with him me and my my two youngest daughters moved in with him in June he already had a house that he owned and um, he told me you know if you want to pursue your passions or whatever you just want to rest I got you don't worry about it so I quit my job back in June and I am now a stay-at-home wife mom um, but I am also a full-time content creator and um, I also asked him because he asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day and I, I told him I wanted a camera so he bought me a camera so that's what I have been recording on and he also gifted me a tummy tuck so that kind of spurred this video because somebody was like, well, why don't you do a video on YouTube about your tummy tuck? Because people have been asking me about my tummy tuck, right? So I had a tummy tuck in July. Uh, July 17th uh, was my surgery date. I had my tummy tuck done by Mia Aesthetics. My doctor was Dr. Mark Sarcia, and I would highly recommend him. His bedside manner is chef's kiss and he really listened to my concerns one of my concerns was when i got my colon resection and i will um include some some pictures here but when i got my colon resection the way that they did my belly button i had a big keloid mark it looks like i had been stitched okay like sally from the corpse bride okay and i hated it um I am not a really person that like hated my body, but I always wanted a tummy tuck because I've had four kids. I've had a C-section, you know, I had the muscle separation, all of those things. Cause that, so that was something that I always wanted, but I wasn't sure if I would be able to get it after cancer. So they did tell me I had to wait a year. So I waited the year. I had the surgery done on July 17th. The surgery went really well. 
he was very honest that he may not have been able to remove all of the uh, scar, but he was going to move it down where you couldn't see it. And that's exactly what he did. So there's like about this much of the scar left. It was about this much. So it's about this much of the scar left and he has moved it like up under my bikini line. So you can't really see it unless I was just to be completely naked, which y'all not gonna see that on the internet. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so the surgery went well uh, for me and maybe my pain tolerance is higher because of what I've been through, but I can say the pain was probably like a four out of 10, um, maybe a six out of 10 the first day, a four out of 10 like after, and then after that I would say not even more than a two. And mostly it was soreness. It wasn't really pain, it was just muscle soreness. So I got what is called an extended tummy tuck and what that was muscle repair. So what that is, is that they go in, he cuts you from hip to hip, he goes in, he takes your muscle, he repairs it. So he's going to take the muscle that separated from you gaining weight or working out or having a baby. I don't know how the muscle separates. But mine was from having a, a baby C-section. So he's gonna take that muscle, he's gonna repair it, he's going to uh, sew it back together basically, and then he's gonna cut out some of that skin. So it's basically a skin removal surgery. And he's gonna take the top part and come all the way down to the incision that he made on your hip and sew all of that together. So that, and then he's gonna give you a new belly button. I love my new belly button belly button went well at first he was thinking maybe there wasn't blood flowing to the belly button and that's because of my previous medical history but the blood was flowing there and it has healed perfectly and um he really paid attention to that so i would i would definitely recommend me aesthetics i would definitely recommend um dr sarcia the cost was less than six thousand dollars uh total i did have some extras like i bought the the package for the compression garments and i also paid um extra money for the um, uh, pain shot. They'll give you a shot of pain. I don't know if there was a difference because some people said there wasn't a difference for them. For me, maybe it was. So maybe that's why my pain was so low. So that's something that you can look into. Now, Mia Aesthetics is a company that is basically manufacturing these surgeries in and out so you're not going to get super personalized service and you know you get what you pay for um six thousand dollars under that is a pretty reasonable price uh for everything that goes into this type of surgery so you take that into consideration i still i had a very good experience i know people that have been there and they've had good experiences as well of course there are going to be other people that have not had good experiences because again it's not personalized service so if you need something more personalized then you will have to pay a little bit more money but this is um a reputable reputable company this is who i know people that have went through this company and so i decided this is what i wanted to go with and I absolutely love my results. Like my stomach is on flat. Now I am still swelling. The whole healing process for a tummy tuck can be anywhere from six months to a year. And I'm only like six, seven weeks in <laughs> to having a tummy tuck. So I have a ways to go. So I do swell. Um, I've been trying to make sure that I wear my compression garment as much as I can. I am not gonna lie to you and say that I wear it all the time because I do not. Um, because listen, your girl got thick thighs and they don't make those compression garments for women that have thick thighs okay they don't um so it squeezes my thighs and they chafe and all of that kind of stuff like i'm working on those thighs but it's just not going to happen overnight and so sometimes i gotta take that compression garment off okay but anyway i i do see the difference when i wear it though so if you watch me you'll probably see it on and sometimes you'll see it off judge someone else i'm doing the best that i can okay but anyway that's really basically all the updates y'all um i just want to say you know thank y'all for coming back to my channel if you have questions about the tummy tuck or anything brother let me know and if i can answer them i can answer them <laughs> um I don't know what my vlogging will be about um, or what I will be talking about because I don't think that I just want to vlog. I think that I want to share knowledge. I want to share information about creating a soft life for yourself.
Um, I want to share information about being married for the second time in your 40s. I want to share just different things. And so if you have some topics that you want me to discuss, let me know in the comments. Um, if you are looking forward to watching me on my journey of becoming a wife again, um, you know, living my life, content creation and all of those things, um, follow me on social media, but make sure that you subscribe to this channel and that, you know, you like, comment, share and do all the things that you're supposed to do back in. So anyway, that is my life update. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions or comments or things that you want me to discuss, let me know in the comments below. I thank y'all for tuning in. This video is short, but I will have other videos for y'all coming soon. My, my goal is to uh, give you a video once a week and you will see how they go, okay? Because I'm a work in progress, all right? Anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and I will see y'all next week.